Hello and welcome to my channel Econ Academy. In this tutorial, I will show you how to uh, estimate and interpret OLS using Strata. So do like the video and subscribe to my channel. So for first of all, we must have uh, data in our Excel file, and from there we will copy the whole data and import it in the Strata. Uh, for this, in the command section, we will write ed and press enter and here we will paste the whole data the first row contain uh, first row of my variables my data contains the variable names so i will select variable names and for time period uh, i have a variable of years and now until now the data the strata took this data as a cross sectional data to make it uh, straight to make it time series data we have a command ts SET and the name of the variable which we use for uh, time period which in this case is years and then we'll press enter uh, now you can see that the strata took this data as a time series data and now for estimating um, OLS we have a command uh, reg or eg or regress so uh, in short term we will use reg and then the name of the dependent variable which in this case is gdpn and all the name of the independent variables which is consumption investment government spending exports and imports so uh, in the command section we will first uh, write reg and then the name of the dependent variable which is gdpn and then the name of the all the independent variables which is consumption investment government spending exports and imports and then we will press enter now you can see that these are the result of the ols or we can say that ordinary least square and you can see that this is the dependent variable and these are all the independent variables and this consumption uh, this constant this is a constant uh, which we also call as intercept here we will uh, here we will uh, interpret some of the results uh, first of all we will interpret what is number of observations and what does this probability of abstracts means what does this r square mean and what does this adjusted r square mean and then we will uh, show uh, how we check the significance using probability of t stats and uh, uh, t stat uh, or and the t stat and uh, what does this coefficient uh, means so first of all what is number of observations uh, it is the it is the number uh, of observation which we took in our estimation and this is the probability of f stats means uh, probability of f stat shows whether the model we use is significant as a whole or not so if this probability is below 0 0.05 or below 5% then we will say that this model is significant which uh, you can see that in this case this is 0, 0.00 which uh, we can also call as uh, 0% so the whole model is significant and what does this r square adjusted r square means so the r square and adjusted r square shows whether the how much the variation in the dependent variables uh, in the dependent variable are shown by independent variables so in this case you can see that r square and adjusted r squares uh, r square both are 99 percent or we can say that 0.99 percent which means that 99 percent variation in the dependent variable are shown by these independent variables so uh, the model uh, is a best fit in this case uh, uh, if the if this r square and adjusted r square is above 60 percent in time series data then this me it means that this model is a good fit so coming to the interpretation of the uh, the independent variables uh, first of all we will check whether these variables are significant or not so for this we will check through the probability of t stats and t stats so if the probability of t stats is below 0 0.05 or below 5% then we will say that these vary this uh, specific variable is significant if if the probability of t stats is above 0 0.05 or above 5% uh, 
uh, I'm talking about uh, this this uh, this uh, row uh, sorry this column uh, if this uh, if this is above 0 0.05 then we will say that this uh, specific variable is insignificant uh, as in this case you can see that the consumption variable uh, the probability of t-stats is 0 0.001 which means that it is significant at 1% level of significance and uh, investment is also significant at 1% level of significance government spending same case, cases of government spending uh, exports and imports and the same cases of the constant term which is intercept so all the variables are significant at 1% level of significance you can also check these from the t-stats if the t-stats is above uh, uh, is is two or uh, about two in absolute form then we will say that this uh, specific variable is significant if it is below uh, five it, uh, sorry it is below two if the t stats is below two in absolute form then we will say that this uh, specific variable is insignificant uh, so the negative sign just show that uh, whether the variable is positive impacting the dependent variable or uh, negative impact impacting if the if there is no sign then it means that the variable is positively impacting the dependent variable if there is negative sign then it means that this specific variable is negatively impacting the dependent variable so coming to coefficients what does this coefficient means so uh, if the co the coefficient of co uh, consumption is 0 0.54 which means if the uh, if the consumption is increased by 1% then the gdp will be uh, will be increased by 0.54% uh, 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 or uh, in other case we say that if the consumption increased by 1 then the GDP will be increased by 0 0.54 uh, the investment uh, the coefficient of investment is 0 0.94 uh, which means that if the if investment increased by uh, 1% uh, then the GDP will be increased by 0 0.94 or in other case we say that uh, if the investment is increased by 1 then uh, the GDP will be increased by 0 0.94 uh, the case of government spending is the same as if the government spending increased by 1 uh, um, if the government spending increased by 1% then the GDP will be increased by 2.23% and uh, in other case we say that if the uh, gone if the gone spending increased by one then the GDP will be increased by 2.23 and uh, the case of exports is the same as well if the the coefficient of exports is 0 0.67 so if the uh, exports increased by one then the GDP will be increased by 0.67% or in other case we say that if the export is increased by 1 then the GDP will be increased by 0.67 so the case of investment uh, the case of um, uh, the case of imports is a, diff a bit different than all of the other variables as it has a negative it contains a negative sign so uh, it means that uh, the coefficient of imports is z minus 0 0.44 which means that if the imports is increased by 1% then the GDP will be decreased by z 0 0.44% so uh, just the uh, interpretation here uh, only the um, only the in increase will be changed by the decreased so here a negative impact uh, of imports um, will be on the GDP so, uh, if the imports increased by 1% then the GDP will be decreased by 0.44% or in other case we say that if the uh, imports is increased by 1 then the GDP will be decreased by 0 0.44 
so this is from today tutorial hope you understand how to uh, interpret and estimate the OLS using strata so do like the video and subscribe to my channel and you can watch other videos from the playlist and you, you can also go to my channel and uh, watch other uh, tutorials of strata and reviews so do like the video and subscribe to my channel bye for now